Aircraft carriers changed the face of warfare when they rose to prominence in the midst of World War II. At that point, planes could land and take off on floating airbases. Today, most world powers continue using these vessels to protect their maritime interests and rights. When looking at 13 navies around the globe, there are presently 41 active aircraft carriers. Some aircraft carriers are relatively small and are only really designed for the use of helicopters. But then you have others with runways that would give the Denver International Airport a run for its money. Larger vessels may come out in the near future, but for the time being, here are the five biggest aircraft carriers currently in use around the planet. We're counting down from the smallest to the biggest of the major aircraft carriers still in service. First up is the vessel known as Liaoning. It's the only aircraft carrier currently utilized by the People's Liberation Army Navy of China. While it was initially built as part of the Admiral Kuznetsov class for the Soviet Union, which we'll get into in a little bit, this vessel has gone by various names over the years, including Varyag and Raiga. In 1998, the Chonglot Travel Agency, based out of Hong Kong, bought the vessel at an auction. The original idea was to turn it into a floating casino, but the conversation never fully got off the ground. The uncompleted idea was later transferred to Ukraine after the Soviet Union dissolved. It was soon acquired by China and refitted to serve as an aircraft carrier for the Navy. The vessel was finally commissioned into service in 2012. The carrier is armed with anti-submarine warfare rocket launchers, HQ-10 missiles and Type 1030 close-in weapon system. It's powered by steam turbine propulsion and its flight deck can hold roughly 50 aircraft, including helicopters and fixed-wing planes. The only operational aircraft carrier currently active in the Russian Navy is called the Admiral Kuznetsov. It was constructed by the Nikolaev South Shipyard and it presently ranks as the fourth biggest aircraft carrier on the open sea. It's a truly massive vessel with a full load displacement of 58,500 tons. It also has an incredibly spacious flight deck measuring 14,700 square meters, which is capable of accommodating fight jets and helicopters. The carrier is also able to hold 1,960 members of company, 626 air group and 40 flag staff. The vessel is propelled by steam turbine propulsion which gives it a maximum speed of 32 knots. It also has quite a massive arsenal on board, with rocket launchers, anti-ship cruise missiles and AK-630 AA guns. In June of 2017, the Royal Navy debuted the largest warships it had ever built. The first vessel within the Queen Elizabeth class headed out to sea in 2017 but it didn't officially enter service until 2020. A second carrier, the HMS Prince of Wales, is also in development and is scheduled to be operational by 2023. These aircraft carriers are three times bigger than the Invincible class ones that preceded them. They can support embarkation of up to 40 rotary and fixed wing aircraft. The vessel can be operational with a fairly streamlined crew of only 679. Its operations are further aided thanks to the inclusion of the latest technology, including automated systems. Each vessel within this specific class is armed to the teeth. Some of the weaponry you'll find include 30mm guns and miniguns, as well as a phalanx close-in weapon system for self-defense. The carriers are powered by two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines in addition to four diesel generator sets. Thanks to its state-of-the-art propulsion system, the vessels are able to attain maximum speeds of 25 knots. Second place in the race for the largest aircraft carrier in the world belongs to the Nimitz class of vessels for the United States Navy. These immense creations come with a full load displacement of 97,000 tonnes, it's held the distinction of one of the largest aircraft carriers ever made ever since the 1970s. The first carrier within this class set sail in May of 1975. It's remained a critical component of the Navy for decades, with the last ship in its class, the USS George H.W. Bush, being commissioned in January of 2009. 
Each carrier within this class is designed to operate for roughly 50 years, so the Nimitz class will continue to be well represented for many years to come. What's even better is that the ships only need one midlife overhaul to remain operational for that time frame. This supercarrier measures 332.8 metres in length. It also has a flight deck of 4.5 acres, which allows it to carry over 60 aircraft. But these ships are more than just long. Standing at 20 storeys above the water, they're some of the tallest structures you'll see in the ocean. Any individual ship is capable of accommodating between 3,000 and 3,200 members of the ship's company, along with 1,500 air wing and 500 other crew members. Vessels belonging to the Nimitz class are powered by two nuclear reactors that give them maximum speeds of over 30 knots. The aircraft carriers also come with all the weaponry you expect to protect them against possible threats. Some of the items you'll find on board include rolling airframe missiles, a phalanx close-in weapon system and Sea Sparrow missiles. While these vessels are quite the feats of engineering, even they don't stand up to the aircraft carrier in the number one spot. And appropriately enough, it's the ship that actually replaced the Nimitz class in the US Navy. In an incredible video released by the US Navy, we get to see just how agile a modern Nimitz class carrier truly can be, even considering its massive size. The USS Gerald R. Ford was officially delivered to the United States Navy in May of 2017, with expectations for it to be fully operational by 2020. So, in the very near future, we'll soon see a whole new class of aircraft carrier make its way into the sea. Its full load displacement is unlike anything seen before in this field, coming out to 100,000 tonnes. With those numbers, it's easy to see why the Gerald R. Ford class is the largest aircraft carrier currently in existence. This aircraft carrier comes with a flight deck measuring 78 metres in width. It also comes with state-of-the-art technology, including advanced arresting gear and an electromagnetic aircraft launch system. It has the capacity to carry over 75 different aircraft, and it can also accommodate over 4,500 personnel, including the ship's company, support staff and air wing. In terms of electrical capacity, the Gerald R. Ford class greatly exceeds that of the Nimitz class. It's powered by two A1B nuclear reactors that give it 250% more electrical capacity than the Nimitz. And some of the weaponry you'll find on board include a phalanx close-in weapon system, rolling airframe missiles, and RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow missiles. With a max speed of 30 knots, the Gerald R. Ford represents the future of naval technology. And since it's designed to have a service life of 50 years, you'll see this incredible vessel for many more years to come. Here's some footage released by the US Navy showing the first fixed-wing aircraft launched from the USS Gerald R. Ford. Have you had the pleasure of going on board an aircraft carrier? Are there any you'd want us to do videos about in the future? Let us know in the comments. Otherwise, be sure to check out the link on screen to watch another one of our videos. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.